Electoral violence is one of the recurring decimals during polls in Africa, with Kenya experiencing post-election violence in 2007-2008. Similarly, Cote d'Ivoire recorded considerable unrest after polls in 2020, just like several other countries on the continent. As the 2023 general elections approach in Nigeria, stakeholders are pulling all necessary levers to forestall the occurrence of election violence as the country looks to preserve its over two decades of uninterrupted democracy. In combating this menace, a high-level national dialogue on mitigating electoral violence ahead of the 2023 elections has been organized by Kimpact Development Initiative in conjunction with International Republican Institute and National Endowment for Democracy. The team lead, Kimpact Development Initiative, KDI, Bukola Idu, described the importance of stemming the tide of electoral violence while noting that at least 339 cases of election-related violence were recorded in 2022. With the data we showed the other time, uh, we have over 339 cases, you know, of election violence that has happened uh, with last year alone. And it keeps increasing as we move closer to the election. And one of the things we have also seen is that about 169 69 people have died, you know, that last year related to election violence and that is why we need to have this conversation this election is so critical that we need to get it right and at the same time this violence we also believe can mar the election and violence also can undermine the election don't also forget that because of violence election can be cancelled in some uh, places where the violence occurred and this is why we are bringing stakeholders together at this high level um, platform to be able to have conversation. How do we mitigate? How do we talk to political parties? How do we talk to um, the security agencies? What exactly do they need to do? What are we going to be doing differently? Of course, everybody have been working one way or the other uh, last year, but do we need to change our strategy because we have seen that nothing has really changed and that is why we are having this conversation. In his goodwill message, Santiago Stoka, country director, International Republican Institute, IRI, remarked that since the signing of the peace accord by the presidential candidates of political parties in September 2022, more than 100 incidents of election violence has been recorded. In the same vein, a governance advisor, while reiterating that Nigeria is the biggest and most influential democracy on the continent, said the success of the 2023 election will lead to increased confidence in subsequent election cycles. In 2022, Last year, we saw more than 400 reported incidents of election violence in Nigeria, twice as many as we saw in the same period before the 2019 elections. And while this issue has been addressed in different ways by different stakeholders, much of it to this point has been symbolic. Symbolism is important, but it is not enough. Since the signing of the peace accord by the presidential candidates of the political parties on September 29th, we have seen an increase in election violence. Since the signing of the peace accord, we've seen more than 100 incidents of election violence in more than 30 states, in more than 80 LGAs. And many of these incidents have been egregious, public displays of partisan violence. When we talk about securing the elections in Nigeria, we talk about preventing loss of life, destruction of property. But at its core, this is mainly about a constitutional and fundamental human right of Nigerian citizens. Voting in an election is not just about something that citizens do every day. It is an action that determines their future. And so it is the hope that by next month and the month after when Nigerians go to the polls, that this commitment that we have seen from stakeholders, the reason why we are here, that all these conversations would eventually lead to a scenario where Nigerians can go and exercise their rights within an environment that actually allows them to choose the leaders that they actually believe will get them to the point they need to be as citizens and as a country. Nigeria's security forces, while stressing the candid efforts they've made to carry out threat analysis and broaden their intelligence network across the Federation, 
called on Nigerians to adequately complement the efforts of security forces before, during, and after the 2023 general elections to forestall violence in the country. No facet of the society can be completely absorbed from being contributory directly or indirectly to election violence. Since at one point or the other, we, by our actions and inactions, constitute triggers to violence. We all must therefore come together to salvage our electoral system. You all will agree with me that the forthcoming 2023 general election is very critical and of utmost importance to the survival, growth and development of our democracy and country in general. Uh, the police has been making adequate preparation to ensure that uh, the recurrent issue of uh, electoral violence are uh, put in check or mitigated. We started by carrying out our threat analysis all over the Federation and we have continued to update these threats as this will help us in our deployment of uh, personnel and uh, resources. And not only that, we are working closely with other security agencies to ensure that they will carry out a well harmonized uh, deployment of personnel uh, to these very areas. We are equally working with our uh, intelligence assets to make sure that uh, perpetrators of uh, violence are put in check and if possi uh, possibly arrested to ensure that uh, we have uh, a peaceful election in this 2023. The 2023 polls in Africa's most populous country are fast approaching with electorates expected to exercise their franchise in an atmosphere devoid of violence and intimidation in February and March. In Abuja, Nigeria's capital, Abiodun Mohamed, Top Accolade News.